Tonight, a groundbreaking orchestra of Black and Latinx artists hit the stage at Carnegie Hall. The performance features works inspired by the poetry of Langston Hughes and Julia Alvarez. The group Sphinx Virtuosi tours the world in a force for diversity in classical music. Joining me now are Kari Joyner and Gabriel Cabezas, two members of Sphinx Virtuosi. Welcome. Thanks for having us. That sounded so good. Thanks. You both play cello, which I can't wait to hear tonight. This will be the first time I get to hear you. And Gabe, I know that you went on tour with Sphinx uh, to the UK. And so tell me about that and why this group is so unique. Yeah, it was uh, uh, really great this summer for uh, us at Sphinx Virtuosi to make our debut in the UK. It's a really amazing group. Um, we're a conductorless uh, orchestra, mm. uh, a string orchestra, and so we can bring a really interesting energy, I think, to the stage. And it's also uh, a group solely comprised of Black and Latinx string uh, players. And you both are invested. I mean, you started at just 13 years old together, so you're really good friends. <laughs> um, you're both amazing musicians, and you have all sorts of projects you're working on. How has Sphinx impacted your careers and, and sense of family? Yeah, well, I think um, there's been a lot of, of, because of the networking aspect that Sphinx mm. has, and you meet so many people that are like-minded and, and are doing the same, striving for the same thing that you are. And so, um, in a way, there's kind of so many, just in, in the terms of when you meet other musicians um, through Sphinx, you realize just how it affects your future career. You know, you end up playing with the same musicians on another engagement, or you might be hired by some of the musicians, you might be hiring some of them. So there's this kind of very interesting symbiotic, but um, truly kind of family aspect of mm. Sphinx that kind of remains for a lifetime, um, which is very much similar for the music world, but it's just nice to actually be able to see it with people who really share the same common interests and goals as you do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really, really that every time you see uh, people that you've met through Sphinx, uh, it's a it's a little bit of a family reunion, and uh, uh, we're always in touch about the different things that we're all up to. So it's 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 great. And it's terrific because you have programs all over the country, so it's not like you have to live here to take part, yes. which is wonderful. What advice do you have for anyone watching who dreams of becoming a professional musician? Because it seems like such a tough hill to climb. Practice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you just uh, there's no you you got to work every day at it, yeah. and um, you know keep keep your spirits high and and, and just keep mm -hmm. working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would say just know that there are so many people that you can rely on yeah. just mm. for advice, um, just for mentorship. Um, that's kind of one of the biggest things that I kind of was able to have through Sphinx. You know, it was just so many older colleagues, even not only just the uh, you know people in my family that went through it, but others that kind of really mentored me and yeah. that kind of um, same. You know, as Gabe said, you know, the practicing, the the dedication and the commitment to music making, I think, is one of the best things I could say to people that are you know, looking to have music in their life as a career. Well, you have a beautiful album that was just released this year, and I love it because I, um, I pulled it up immediately on my um, uh, Spotify, and I've been listening to it nonstop. It's so good. Gabe, tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, this is our uh, first album mm -hmm. uh, called Songs for Our Times, and it's uh, released on Deutsche Grammophon this year, which is really exciting for us. And it's a really great record. It has... Um, um, a great selection of pieces by uh, composers from the past and present, all uh, composers of color. And that's what I love, that the focus of not only the musicians, but the pieces you play are from composers of color. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited to see you tonight at Carnegie Hall. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, I'm not much. supposed to say that, right? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Break a leg. Break a leg. I don't know what you're supposed to say. <laughs> Break something. <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much. Yes. And there are still tickets available. The performance is at 7 o'clock. We have more information on our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.